All right. So I do 7.9C. A model of a rectangle stove top with four circular burners is shown. The side lengths of the stove top and the diameters of the burners are labeled. Which measurement is the best estimate of the area in square inches of the stove top that does not include the area of the burners? So we have four burners and we have a rectangular stove. In my formula chart, I have the shape, the formula, I evaluate, then I have the accurate answer. So I read the word problem, underlined, highlighted the question, I labeled the diagram, so I have the base, and then I have the height of the stove top, then I have the diameter of the circles, all right? I label those. Remember, the radius is the, is the diameter divided by two, all right? So we go to the, evaluate, the evaluation part, which we do in, the, in our table. So we have the shape of a square. The formula is base times height. We evaluate the base times the height, which is 22 times 20, which is 440. This is gonna be in inches squared. And then we have to find the area of the circle. The area of the circle is pi r squared. The oh. radius is gonna be two, because remember, the radius is half the diameter, so four divided by two is two, two squared. So two squared, ladies and gentlemen, is four, and I know that four multiplied by pi is 12.56. But remember, there's not, that's the area of one of the circles. It says that there's four circles. So 12.56 multiplied by four is 50.24 inches squared, all right? Now it says the area of the stove top that does not include the area of the burners. So I have to subtract the, the area of the four combined burners, 50.24, from the area of the stove top, which is 44, uh, 440. So 440 minus 50.24 is 389.76 inches squared, approximately. That's closest to answer's choice F. All right, so I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions and solve these problems. Write as much work as you can on your scratch paper and then evaluate, show as much work as you can on Nearpod and that's how you solve this problem. Thank you for watching.